James Pearce, we've got the Premier League fixture list here and Liverpool start off against Ricky Lambert and maybe even Adam Morana's old side at Southampton on the first day. Yeah, certainly an intriguing start for Liverpool. <coughs> I think, um, you know, obviously uh, with the links between uh, the, the two clubs, um, you know, as, as you mentioned, it's going to be an emotional reunion for Ricky Lambert, you know, uh, could be making his Liverpool debut against the club who who helped him become a Premier League and an England World Cup star. So, that, you know, that would be a very special occasion for him. Throw into the mix the fact that Liverpool could also have Adam Lallana on board by then and maybe even Dejan Lovren. Um, so there could be some very familiar faces for, for Southampton. And obviously, the uh, you know, the fact that it's Ronald Koeman's first match in charge of the Saints as well. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a mouth-watering start to the new season. Because they've not got the easiest of starts, it has to be said. They've got Manchester City, the second game of the season, then Tottenham, and then at the end of the month, they've got a derby, albeit at home. But they're always big occasions, aren't they? There's never an easy game. No, and I, and I think you know, I think I think it can it can work one of two ways, can't it? Having you know, some tough games early on. I think we saw last season the the benefits of and the importance of getting off to a flying start. I mean, there was that you know the, the dramatic opening day win over Stoke that that helped. Liverpool build confidence and momentum from the start and I think you know Brendan Rodgers will certainly be looking for something similar this time around I mean the second game of the season to go to the Etihad it's going to be uh, it's going to be a great occasion you know the two clubs who fought it out for the title right to the bitter end back in May you know what, what a fantastic opportunity that is for Liverpool to put down a marker and show that they're going to be serious contenders for the crown uh, this time around as well and then a trip to Tottenham who again you know they've got a new manager in Mauricio Pochettino um, and uh, you know that Liverpool will certainly have no fear going to White Hart Lane, having you know having years of having struggled down there. You know they they are produced arguably their best performance of last season uh, at White Hart Lane when they absolutely thrashed Tottenham. So they'll uh, certainly have happy memories of going there. Now there's no particular chunk at this when we look at this calendar that makes you go, <gasps> is there? It all looks all right now. Christmas looks like an okay time as well. Liverpool fans will be staying at home apart from Boxing Day when they've got to go to Burnley. But then they've got Swansea and Leicester City and that could be a nice time at what could be a difficult time. Yeah, and I, and I think certainly you know, Brendan Rodgers will, will have looked at that and I think he'll be quietly satisfied with, with the schedule they've been given over Christmas. I think certainly last season it did Liverpool absolutely no favours having Man City away and then Chelsea away You know, in, in the space of three or four days with such a limited squad that was you know, draining both mentally and, and physically. And you're right this time around to face a newly promoted team like Burnley on Boxing Day and then two home games against you know, Swansea and Villa, who you know, probably mid-table opposition. You know, I, I don't think Liverpool can ask for much more than that over the festive period. And what we've got as well to factor in now is the Champions League for Liverpool. That really does take its toll. It's big, high-pressure games. Is there a time around March, April when they might need to think about how they're going to plan for the rest of the season. Yeah, well, I, th I think Brendan Rodgers knows that Liverpool need a much deeper squad to cope with the added demands next season. I think you know he, he made it clear towards the back end of the last season he wanted five or six quality signings and he talked about wanting quality rather than quantity because I think probably last summer we saw Liverpool sign too many squad players who didn't really contribute and they certainly can't afford a repeat of that because you know, you know, you're right with, with such a gruelling schedule they're going to have this season and, and then the high quality opposition they're going to face in the Champions League because I think they're going to be in pot three which means they're guaranteed a tough group so um, you know, Brendan Rodgers are going to need to be able to make three or four changes from midweek to the weekend without seeing a noticeable kind of decline in the, in the quality on show so um, you know, obviously he's, he's signed Ricky Lambert and Emery Chan already but uh, you know, he certainly needs another three or four to ensure that Liverpool are well equipped to deal both domestically and, and continentally in terms of the, the two challenges next season. And finally, we looked at Liverpool's run in last season. It was difficult for them. They were playing the likes of Man City, they were playing the likes of Chelsea, and it didn't quite happen. This time, the last five games, West Bromwich Albion away, Queen's Park Rangers at home, Chelsea away, Crystal Palace at home, and Stoke City away on the final day. If it's coming to another title race, will Brendan Rodgers be looking at that and thinking, we can do this? Yeah, I think it certainly could be worse. I think you, know, you look at that, I think the one that, the one that really jumps out at you is the, the trip to trip to Stamford Bridge um, because uh, you know, obviously that'll bring back pretty bad memories for Liverpool fans from, from last season. I mean, obviously it was Chelsea who kind of ultimately wrecked Liverpool's title dreams with that 2-0 that, that win at Anfield. So um, you know, but this time around, Liverpool will be going to Stamford Bridge late on in the season. Um, and it's uh, you know it's an opportunity for them to put things right. They certainly owe Chelsea one. Chelsea were the only the only club to do the double over Liverpool last season. Um, but it's you know aside from that, you're right. You know the, the running doesn't doesn't appear to have too many scares for Liverpool. And 
uh, again, you know, if, if they're in the, in the hunt for the big prizes come May, I think they'll fancy their chances of finishing the season strongly.